Hello there, my name is Caleb, and welcome back to Citizens of Earth. Why, hello there! Good morning. Uh? You get your beauty sleep, sir? I may be second in command, but I'm first in looks. Now enough about me. Anyone check the news? Did they have any stories about me this morning? Uh-huh. Well, the protesters pretty much left town. Yeah! And all the cops took down the barricades. Just in time. I've been summoned to the president's office. What brings you by? Hey, you're up. Hmm. Someone sent a taxi to pick you up outside. My chariot awaits. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just a taxi. I mean, it's pretty generic, even by taxi standards. Eh, it's the thought that counts. Oh well. All right, here we go. I'll cook you to a crisp. Well done, team. A mug of coffee is just what you need to turn that yawn upside down. Huh? Want some coffee? Hmm. You've declined in your percometer. Oh. Yeah, with Moonbooks gone, I'm out of work. Hmm. I guess I could look for a new job. Uh uh. But nothing makes me happy as serving coffee. Oh. Please, Mr. VP, you gotta rebuild Moonbooks for my sake. Come on, fight fair! You let go! You got this! Freeze! Freeze! Why me? Walk it off! How great seeing you here, sir. Ready for a quick photo? It'll make for a great cover story. Say cheese! Exciting stuff. Go. Wow. Never doubted you for a second. Already. The worst part about being in a bubble is my stinger might pop it at any minute. And then I wouldn't be in a bubble. Okay. Cha-ching! Whoa! Uh-oh, it's back. <laughs> oh, brother. Huh? But he looks... sad? Huh? You think so? Hmm? Are you sad, Mr. Bear Made of Honey? <laughs> Yerp. Hmm? Is that a yes? I finished all my honey, now I'm sad. That's weird. But you're made of honey. You're, and if I eat it all, then it runs out. Bad things happen. Uh-huh. So if you run out of honey, then it must be the bitter end? Mm-hmm. That's not even a pun. You're. 
If only I could get my paws on some honey from Appleton. Hmm. Hmm. All right. You can count on us. Farewell. We'll get you some honey. <laughs> Hurrah, Erp. Okay. Hello. So, hey. You guys are still here, huh? <laughs> yep. Done protesting, though. Huh? Right, but, uh, the signs? <laughs> I just can't part with them. It's like a security blanket. <laughs> Only, it's not a blanket. It's a bunch of signs. Totally normal, though. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's talk about you Do me a favor. Mm-hmm. And why would a man such as myself help a man such as yourself? Oh my God. <laughs> because I got info about the opposition leader. All right! Stop. You had me at because I got info about the opposition leader. <laughs> as I was going through some protest materials, I learned something. Oh my God. <laughs> something whisper worthy. The fellow whispers sweet something to your ear. Whoa! Gadzooks, that's quite an earful. <laughs> but I can't confirm it yet. I'm sure there's evidence in the Capitol building, though. <laughs> you go find the evidence, and I'll get the word out. Slow down there, sir. Camp Cuckoo isn't safe right now. Huh? It's not one of those scary horror movie killers on the loose again, is it? Worse, much worse. You know those cookies the scouts sell? You mean Danger Scout cookies? I love those! Strawberry shenanigans are my favorite. They moved the factory next to the camp so the kids could help bake them, not just sell them. Teach them responsibility and hard work, the whole nine yards. Makes sense, child labor laws aside. Turns out, building a sugar factory next to a camp full of youngsters was a powder keg just waiting to go kablamo. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. That's right. Things went kablamo. Things went kablamo big time. You ever seen a bunch of tykes hopped up on sugar with little to no adult supervision? It isn't pretty. Those kids need role models, not boxes of roly-poly cocoa buddies. Go back to the capital, sir. There's nothing for you down this road but pain and suffering. And cookies. Lots of cookies. You got me thinking. We were working on this super soldier project a while back. Didn't pan out. We should have tried high doses of sugar. Uh? Um, Super Soldier Project? Isn't that where our taxes go? Huh? So, sorry, that's classified information. You didn't hear that. You can go in if you want to. I won't stop you. But don't say I didn't warn you. No, seriously, do not tell people I didn't warn you. I could lose my job. Just said. How can I help you, Sonny? Ah. Oh. What a nice house. Uh, my heart. A house, sir. I will not abide such language. This here's a genuine mansion. Huh? Oh, I haven't been in a mansion before. Mm. You mean all you city folk don't live in a giant mansion all at the capital? Uh uh. Nope. I bet my entire condo's smaller than this room. Hmm. Well, if you ever need a place to sleep, I'm sure I've got a spare closet somewhere. Make yourself a home. Don't mind if I do. Cha-ching! How can I help you, Sonny? Nothing doing. Sorry, friend, but I'm on my way to the old casino. Gonna strike it rich. Okay. All right. Let's go to the capital. Hey, ho, ready to leave for Capital City? Don't worry, fare's already paid. Let's go. You bet I am. I never decline a luxury ride. So hop in, buckle up, and hold on tight. It's gonna be a sightseeing taxi ride.
On your left hand side, you'll see the car dealership. The salesman's a little iffy at times, but he manages to stay in business. So he must be doing something right. Must be. Beaches are crystal clear here, aren't they? You should come back here sometime and go for a stroll. And here it is, the heart of Crystal Beach. Swimmers seem to love the shore directly south. Good thing there's always a lifeguard on duty. See how the sand sparkles in the sunlight? It's just magical. I hope you're not afraid of bridges, cause, well, yep, you guessed it. We're about to cross the dazzling Crystal Bridge. Alrighty. Halt! This bridge is closed for construction for the next four years, pending any unforeseen accidents or laziness. Don't mind this guy. A quick flash of the headlamps and he'll leave us alone. That was weird. We're almost there. Hope you enjoyed your ride today. So far. We're here. Start gathering your stuff. Where should I drop you off? Maybe we should head towards the hotel. I'm beat from all that sightseeing. I usually stay off to the south, right by the harbor. Okay, we're here. Hop out quick. I'm not exactly obeying all posted traffic laws. It's great to be back in the capital. Thanks for the ride. Hey, buddy, where's my tip? A tip? Sorry, it's way too early in the day for me to be handing out nuggets of wisdom. Geez, some people, they want something for nothing. Welcome to the Capital Executive Hotel. Would you like a room? Thanks! Feel free to take any upstairs room you like. Thanks, buddy. Exterminate! <laughs> Need me to exterminate something? Hmm? Yes? Hello, Mr. Conan. Hmm. I'm just on my way to a job in Appleton. Hmm? Appleton. Is that where we get our apple pie from? You have to protect our apple supply. Yes! Sir, don't sweat a thing. I got this under control. Walking is for chumps. You need something. I'm finally on vacation in the capital. While I'm here, I'm gonna catch a drive-in movie in Grasslands. Capitalism at its finest. Found a security blanket. Well, now that we're settled in, let's get down to business. Hmm? What do you have in mind? I'm sure the Capitol building is falling apart without me. And they need to know what's going on out here. Hmm. Good point. Well, the Capitol building is just to the north. You don't mind coming along with me, do you? Uh-uh. No, we're used to it. Great. Onward, citizens. <laughs> All right, here we go. You may go! Capitalism at its finest. Found $1,200. What's up, Captain? Ahoy there! What do you have from an old sea dog such as myself? Huh? So, uh, where are we starting at? Arr. The legends say there's a majestic sea monster in these waters, lad. Ah. Ah, uh, yes. The Wee Ho Hee Ho. Nay! Nope. I think you mean the Ago Pogo. Ah. Ah, uh, yes. I think I had an Ago Pogo stick when I was a kid. Nay! Arr. This is a sea monster, not a child's toy. And she's somewhere nearby. Hmm. 
Let me guess. You can smell her? Aye. I can. She's close. I can smell her. Arr. The last sighting of her was in the lake near Camp Cuckoo. Absolutely! Well, what are we doing here? Hop to it. Er, I mean, not hop, but you get the gist. Ahoy there! What do you have from an old sea dog such as myself? My Me lifelong dream is to retire my ship and ride the majestic Ogo Pogo across the waves. Help me tame the beast, and I'll be your first mate for life. Moonbucks. Are they closed? Why is this place empty? Every Moonbucks is so weird. I need another vacation. Hello? Is that shrub alive? Hmm. We've definitely seen stranger things than that. Hmm. Can I help you? Hello? Whoa, nice disguise. Hey, it's Agent <coughs> Steen with the Secret Service. But he's not being very secretive at the moment. It's secretive, sir. And no, we're rebranding. Left that whole image behind us. We're all about likability and approval ratings now. Well, now you're speaking my language. Anywho, my secretary tells me I'm needed inside for some medium-level urgent matters. Really? Your name's not on the guest list for today. Guest list? Sir, there's walking stop signs. If that's not medium-level urgency, then I don't know what is. Those things? We installed them as part of an initiative to reduce traffic and increase security. It's a wondrous age we live in. Seems odd. They say stop, but stopping is the one thing they can't seem to do. They should be go signs. I'll tell one of the higher-ups about your suggestion. Great. Now, will you open the gate so I can speak with the president? He's a busy man, but I guess you can try to get an audience. <sighs> go ahead. Hmm. He, uh, didn't seem so keen on letting you in. We don't seem very well liked. Nonsense! That's just a game he and I play. You wouldn't understand. Welcome to the Capitol Building! May I help you? Hey, who are you? Where's the usual receptionist? She got downsized. B but she always stocked my favorite candies. We're in the middle of a number of changes. Yes, I've noticed. Well then, how can I help you today? I need you to open the gate so I can see the president. I'm sorry, but lowly citizens need an appointment to see the president. No way! Hey, pal. What do you mean, lowly? Be cool. I've got this. Yo, eagle... man. I'm the vice president of the world. I don't need appointments. Oh, sorry, I didn't recognize you. But there's a poster of me right behind you. Is there? Oh, you! Finally! So, let's bring on that service with a smile, shall we? You were the trophy candidate, right? Trophy? Who do you think you are? The gates have been opened! Please proceed back and to the left. I'm sure you can find your way to the second floor. Good day! W well yes, that's more like it. Uh-uh. You really have some pull around here. Good news, Mr. President! I'm back! Fantastic! Didn't even know you were gone. Oh, well, you're a busy man after all. I'm sure I must be. I don't know, my secretary handles most of the work. Oh, just doing my job, sir. Anything to pull my weight. Did you tell him why you woke me up this morning? Mr. President, we need to discuss some anomalies. Anomalies, you say? 
Do you know anything about this? Well, sir, I, uh, I mean, there have been some things. Uh... Hold on to your socks, sir, or they might just get knocked off. All right, well, out with it. This sounds important. A deer in the woods. With telephones for antlers. You were hunting an endangered species of deer? The press will have a field day with this. I already had my share of bad press. There was a rally against me in my hometown this morning. A rally against you? That's hardly an anomaly. Well said, sir. What about the bear made of honey? Or the moon bucks that flew away? Or... Wait! Did you say moon bucks? I did, Mr. President. Excellent! Then here's what we'll do. Lay it on me. I need you to check on our moon bucks here in the capital. Make sure it's still on terra firma and all that. All right. And while you're there, could you bring me back a triple pump non-fat extra foam soy latte with cinnamon? Put it on my tab. Aren't you forgetting something, sir? Of course, how irresponsible of me. Ask my secretary if he wants something. I forgot all about the little fella. He is easy to forget. Say, why don't we send him and you and I can discuss what's been going on? I'm not that kind of secretary. I have an important role in the decision-making process. Coffee runs aren't really in my job description. Well, it's hardly in my job description. Wait, is it? Come now, you said yourself you were at a moon box. You should know better than to not bring back something for everyone else. You're never going to establish yourself in politics if you keep being so antisocial. Well, well, I mean, I did just make a lot of new friends. That's pretty social. Great! They can help carry some drinks back for the staff. Maybe some pastries, too. I'm craving mango today. Is that weird? Alrighty. We'll get coffee in the next part. My name is Caleb. This has been Citizens of Earth, and thank you for watching.